Let's start with jewel tones because Alexa Hampton's sort of space and her pieces for Theodore Alexander, that was like one of my favorite moments at High Point too. T tell us about jewel tones. Uh, Alexa launched that collection, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was October was the first launch of her collection, 200-something pieces with uh, Theodore Alexander, and it was just like a breath of fresh air. I mean, we're coming out of the gray doldrums, right? I mean, like, now finally clients are saying, please, no gray, and uh, instead of saying, please give me gray, right? <laughs> to walk into that showroom last October and see wow, this pow of color, she's the queen of color, she really can use it and deploy it in such a strong yet subtle and classy way. And we're now seeing that uh, trickle out to other vendors too as it becomes more and more comfortable. And it's so funny that the topics that we're all talking about today and looking at each designer's backdrop, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't decorate my room like this with jewel homes uh, for this talk. This uh -huh. was two years ago, uh -huh. and is older, <laughs> so anyway, I've, this has just been something that I've been reacting to. Like I went from sort of a neutral, uh, kind of an all white, um, more high contrast color palette to going to more jewel tones. Uh, so that was a switch I made about two years ago. Um, you can see remnants of the uh, kind of ivory. Oh wait, I, I don't know which, sure. I'm not a good one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the jewel tones popping throughout. But I, um, I, I've noticed that there's still those two strong trends. And if you look at the back of down the part of room, he's got the, high contrast, black and white, um, and the texture that we were talking about with Rachel, it's, it's kind of crazy how the designers can all move in the same direction, <laughs> and and we don't really realize it until you get to market, and then you're like, wait, I did that, you know, two or three years ago, because it's starting to trickle out, getting out through Instagram, social media, and through magazines, so now we're starting to see it hit the market, which is really kind of fun. And, you know, Don Ricardo and Rachel, I want to get your take on color as well, you know, are clients asking for color? Do you guys feel like you're using brighter hues? Don Ricardo, I, I, why don't you weigh in? I, I want to hear what, what you think. So I was on this for years, this blue thing. Um, I posted like a blue dining room and then people would screenshot it and say, we want this, we want this, we want this. And then I feel like recently colors have just, like Marshall said, their, their, their earth tones are just warmer. Mm. warmer tones and that's what I saw I was there in global views and I saw those beautiful reds and the oranges and so I absolutely agree and I think um, for me because I was so focused on color for so long um, just inviting some of the neutrals in with some of just the warmer rich earth tones is kind of where I'm leaning personally just because I want to broaden my portfolio you know but um also, Rachel, just your thought, uh, white as a, a bold graphic. I've never thought of that, so I just wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs>